Hi there friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Rain Boots and today we're making a fun and festive Easter gnome garland. You can see them here hanging. They're perfect for a mantle or a tiered tray because they're small. If you'd like to make them, boop, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting. Speaking of crafting, we need some premium felt, wool balls, blush, the pattern, faux fur, and wood beads. We're also going to use a black marker. So as the pattern calls out, just trace your pieces for your bunnies onto white felt and cut them out. While I'm doing that, I want to remind you, you can join the Ruffles and Rain Boots newsletter to get the first on pattern dibs, coupons, everything. I'll put the link to the homepage below. You just sign up where it says create. So after you have everything tied off, you're going to glue the tabs together and then knot the ears at the very top. This is premium felt. It won't stretch. Before you secure everything down, we're going to add a little blush to the inside of the ears to give it a little fun dimension. You can use felt. Just know that the more weight you add to the ears, the more they're likely to fall over and then it won't look like a bunny. So I'm using Dollar Tree blush. <laughs> Next up, we're going to use the pattern for the beard cut those and then line it up about a quarter inch inside the hat and glue it from the back because we want to glue that fur backing not the fur next step we're going to split the fur all the way to that fabric backing add a dollop of hot glue and then place your wood bead or wood round right there i'm using one quarter inch rounds and then i'm going to add a tiny bit of hot glue right to the top to get that hat scrunch now our last little bit here with our bunnies is to secure everything down. After you like the, after you move it to you like the position of the hat, you're just going to add a little bit of hot glue right in that fold. And that way it'll stay exactly as you want it positioned. And then you just make a whole lot more of those. I made four bunnies. Okay, so the next little piece is we're going to add whiskers. I took two inches of embroidery thread, unsplit, and then glued the center together and kind of pulled apart the ends to sort of look like whiskers, glued it on, and then positioned everything at the end. So you can just press the fur down and then pull those up and split them apart. And repeat that for all your little bunnies. And next up, we're gonna do our carrots. So uh, again, with the premium fur, cut the pattern, uh, or trace the pattern, cut them out, and then cut your greens. I would recommend you putting these on first because we're gonna start with the top to get the right look. So once you've secured those to the top of the carrot, instead of rolling it into a cone, you're just going to press the top together. Get those finger guards to protect your little wee digits from hot glue. And again, we're going to go maybe three quarters of an inch to an inch down that is just pressed together as opposed to rolled into a cone. So once you start rolling it into a cone here, if you do get any extra hot glue that seeped out just like that, sort of flatten it out and then cut it off. So instead of, there you go, just cut it because it'll be nice and flat. And then just proceed all the way down. And when you get to the bottom, you're going to cut that in the back to make it even if you're like me and you don't like it like that. You can also leave it. No one's going to see it. <laughs> Before moving on, because this is already just flat, we're going to add little uh, lines sort of intermittently throughout the entire carrot with a black marker, just like I did with this popular Easter bunny gnome from years ago. And then just like our little bunnies, we're going to cut the beards, attach them to the backs of the hat on the inside, split the fur, and then glue on our wood round and tack down our hat. Easy peasy, right? This is a fun little festive way to add a, a, a Easter. We're going to repeat that until you have four of those as well. And then grab a four inch or I'm sorry, four foot length of embroidery thread. I started with a bunny and then followed with those green wool balls. Didn't use those little orange ones, even though now I kind of regret it. I think they're cute. The only thing to note when you're stringing is please put the carrot about one inch from the base of the hat otherwise it'll flip over or it'll be too low and it'll look weird but guess what after you thread all that on you're done this is a fun little craft get the pattern down below also down below let me know what do you think of this would you make them boop thanks so much for being here as always please like and subscribe for more crafty fun